First thing we're gonna do is weigh the pack because I know everybody wants to know. Well, how much does it really weigh? How much weight do you actually save to be uh, transitioned to a saddle? So I'm gonna show you. So this is my platform and all my hunting gear, everything except the camera equipment. I'm not gonna count the camera equipment because most people don't self film. I self film. That's why this pack is a little bit bigger than I would actually need for um, an early season hunt because I carry stupid camera gear. Uh, the other stuff is in my saddle on the sis hauler. So I'll show you that as well and we'll weigh that so you get an accurate, uh, an accurate weight. We'll go ahead and weigh the pack. This is everything and then I'll take out everything that's inside and show you exactly what I carry. So let's go ahead and turn that on. So we're at zero and we'll weigh that. eight pounds four ounces so you're a few ounces over eight pounds that's with the with the platform and with all the accessories that includes calls kill kit headlamp all that kind of stuff that's all in here so let's call it we'll call it a little over eight pounds for that now i'm going to show you the saddle setup so we get an accurate weight and then we'll go through and break through everything this is my saddle uh set up for hunting and we'll go ahead and weigh that one as well so we'll come back we're back at zero and the saddle is four pounds, seven ounces. So what are you at? What's nine plus 10? 21. You stupid. Not quite 13 pounds, almost 13 pounds. I suck at math, but so we're about at 13 pounds. You, you do the math, we'll put it on the screen something. So you're at 13 pounds. Now let's see what you get for 13 pounds. So let's go through and see exactly what I have in the pack. Obviously, First thing is the Predator platform. That's right there with the uh, Versa strap. I like it. Inside the main compartment of the pack, this is where I would put my camera arm and my cameras and my base and all that stuff. But I'm not showing you that. So the inside of the pack is essentially empty. Uh, I would put a jacket or something in there once it gets cold. But I hunt in Georgia. It's like 90 degrees all the time. So. I don't generally need a whole lot extra. I could use a smaller pack, like I said, if I wasn't filming. So that's it for the main compartment. In the second compartment, oh, by the way, this is a Badlands pack, which you saw. I have like 50 packs. Um, that's a lie, I don't have 50. I've got a lot of packs, but this is the one I'm testing out this year. It's new for me. I like it um, a little bigger than I need, but you know, whatever. Inside, inside this little pack, I've got a headlamp. This is my spares. I keep batteries in here. I keep a spare headlamp, a cheap Walmart headlamp, and I keep a spare release in case I lose my other one. That is it in the secondary pocket. In the front of the pack, I keep two spare Versa straps cut at eight or 10 feet long. I can't remember which. These things are just really versatile for anything. If you're hunting with sticks and you get to a tree that's really big and your strap doesn't fit around it, this is a big eight foot extension, so you can turn it into that. You can use it for a, gear dra uh, a deer drag, you can use it to hang stuff in the tree, to tie, some, whatever. There's a thousand things you could use this for. So I keep two of them in the pack at all times. That's most of what's in the pack. The rest is just accessories at this point. Uh, and this, this over here is my main release. I normally carry that in my pocket or in the, in the pack. Uh, in this side pocket, I carry one of these little pack racks by Night and Hail. Carry a grunt tube and I carry a can call. I don't use this stuff very often, but I always carry it just because I want to have it in case. On the other side, my main headlamp in this other zippered pocket, I carry a saw and I always carry, this is a little um, like camera accessory bag for if I'm out in the woods and I want to check a trail camera, I keep a this is a little SD card reader that plugs into my phone so I can pull the card right from the camera, plug it into my phone and check the camp, check the uh, pictures if I want to. I also have the keys because I almost always lock them up because they're on public land. So I have the keys to all my locks and all my camera checking equipment there. And that goes with me at all times. That is pretty much everything that I take uh, as far as accessories go. Here on the bottom of the pack, I took an old fanny pack. There's really nothing to it. Um, it's an old fanny pack that I've had for years and years and years and I cut off the straps because I just didn't need it. And this is my kill kit slash cushion for my cameras. So I keep some foam in there and that all that does is I store the camera 
in the bottom of my pack and I don't want, when I set it down on the ground, I don't want it to get damaged, so I keep foam in there. And then this is my kill kit. It's got a uh, Havilon knife with extra blades. It's got gloves. It's got 550 cord uh, for whatever, flagging, latex gloves, and then a few trash bags for meat in case I have to quarter one up and pack it out. That is my kill kit. Doesn't weigh hardly anything, just a few ounces. And that lives in here and goes on goes with me on every hunt. That's everything in my pack. The next thing that I'll show you is what I keep on my saddle and how I have it set up for hunting because I do keep several accessories that I need on the saddle. Now it's a little different because I wear it in, so I don't really feel the weight. It attaches at my hips. I wear it from the truck to my tree. So it's a little bit different weight feeling than uh, a backpack where you feel it all on your shoulders since it's on my hips you kind of forget that it's there but i'll show you everything that i carry on the actual saddle first things first this is my tethered mantis that uh that i hunt out of and this is exactly how i have it set up i i run two sys haulers i run a, a standard sys hauler on my left hip for my ropes and then i run a sys hauler es on my right hip for my accessories so we'll start with the the right hip um, and i'll go through exactly what i carry on me so in this external pocket, I carry a 30 foot pull up rope. This is just a loop of 550 cord with a rubber gear tie that I attach this to my bow. The way I attach it is just a simple girth hitch, nothing to it. Just tie a, a, a loop in the 550 cord, attach it to a molly loop on the saddle, and now that's where it lives. Uh, and it just lives right here in the sys hauler pocket. In the other sys hauler pocket, I carry a little coin purse with milkweed for checking the wind. That lives right in my out other pocket. Inside the sys hauler, this is in order. The order is actually important. I pack the sys haulers based on the order that I need the item. So the first item, the one that goes on top, when I get to, to hunting height and I'm standing on my platform and I'm tethered, tethered to the tree, the first thing that I grab out of my sys hauler is the thing that I want to use first. First item is my hist strap. That comes out first. That's the hist strap and that is how I hang my gear in the tree. Other things that are in that sys hauler pocket. This is the hero clip and my accessory carabiners. That is what I use with the hist strap to hang my bow and hang other stuff that I'll need in the tree. The last thing in the sys hauler is my mantis recliner. I have modified mine just a little bit. I cut it, cut the excess length off of the tail, the tag ends of the mantis, and I made these little straps, these little webbing keepers, as well as these little tails to keep it from pulling out. So that's a slick little modification. I need to do a video showing exactly how I did that because that's been really useful. That is the mantis recliner, and that lives in the sys hauler. And that is the last thing on my right hip. Moving over to the main body of the saddle, you'll see these two rubber gear ties. So I use these for hauling my climbing sticks. Anytime I'm on public land where I'm not allowed to screw anything into the tree, I always use climbing sticks. And what I do is I attach the first one at ground level, and then I uh, attach the second and the third one to my left and right hip, so I don't have to come up and down the trees in order to get climbing sticks. I attach them at my hip with these rubber night eyes gear ties, and those just live on the manis attached to molly loops. It's a really simple system. You could also use uh, 550 cord loops. A lot of guys do that. You can just loop them over your, your, uh, your climbing sticks. I like to use the gear ties, but that's just me. That's just personal preference. You might like to do something else, and that's okay. Moving over to my left hip. This is where I keep my ropes. This is the standard sys hauler. Uh, in this rope, or in this, this sys hauler, First thing that comes out, again, because it's the first thing that I use when I get to the tree, is my lineman belt. Lineman belt with my ropeman and carabiner. That stays on top. Second thing that is in this sys hauler is my tether. When I get to hunting height, I attach my tether. That's my main safety line. That lives in the sys hauler. Last thing that is in this sys hauler is a spare carabiner. I use this for when I encounter limbs and I need to move around the limb safely. I don't want to disconnect my lineman belt uh, and therefore be disconnected from the tree while I'm climbing. So I carry an extra carabiner to turn my tether into a spare lineman belt. That's everything that's on my saddle. Another cool thing uh, and another reason why I choose to use a saddle when I'm hunting is the reduction in bulk. So uh, if I don't want to 
walk in with my saddle on, the cool thing about it is, is I can just throw it in my pack. Um, to me, it makes the most sense to, to wear it in just because it's efficient and when I get to the tree, I don't have to, I don't have to spend any time at the base of the tree. Um, putting it on and you know fastening the buckles where you know it might take a it take might take 30 seconds to a minute to put on the saddle at the base of the tree and um, that's why I like to put it on and walk with it but you can see here now my entire hunting all my accessories my platform my saddle everything is in a tiny little day pack and I still have plenty of room in here I could put I could still put a jacket easily. I could put more layers. I could put water, food, anything. Um, anything that I needed. Uh, I still have plenty of room in this pack, like lots and lots of room. That's a pretty good deal. For 13 pounds, I have every single thing I need for the hunt, except for the climbing method. Climbing methods are very individual, and depending on what type of land you're hunting, you might need a public land legal method where you can't you know, screw anything into the tree, or you might be able to hunt on private land or on public land that allows that. So you might be hunting blind, you might be, or as far as going in blind to a new spot you've never been before, or you might be hunting a spot that you've hunted dozens of times, so the, the, the tree is already set up. So climbing methods are, are kind of hard to account for in total pack weight, and I wanted to show you that I pretty much have uh, any kind of climbing method you can imagine. I've used them all, uh, these are just the sticks that I have now. I've had every stick imaginable. I've had every climbing method imaginable. And these are the ones that I have now. Set of stacked outdoor sticks. These are leverage sticks. These are Hawk Helium sticks that I cut down. I did a whole video on how to do that. Uh, I'll link in below on if you wanna see how to do that. These are some custom carbon fiber climbing spurs um, that I DIY'd myself. These are carbon fiber bolts with a tree hopper drill, super light. And then you've got the old tried and true screw in steps. And then these are grade eight bolts uh, if you don't want to use a screw in step. So pretty much every climbing method imaginable and it goes from you know a pound or two if you're in the really lightweight section with like a, a climbing spur that is only three pounds or a set of carbon fiber bolts which is less than that all the way up to the heavier stuff. Uh, so it just depends on what works for you. There's really no right answer to this. Uh, I use all of these methods and uh, like I said it just depends on the type of land that I'm hunting and then the type of hunt. My favorite way to do it is to, is to preset a tree in the preseason with bolts or screw in steps or strap on ladders, cheap inexpensive strap on ladders. That's my favorite way to do it but I find myself honestly going in mobile a lot of times and finding fresh sign and setting up right there and so a lot of times I'll choose the climbing spurs where legal or I will choose a set of sticks with aiders um, if I need to be public land legal where I can't uh, penetrate the bark of the tree. So you can see the climbing options are varied uh, so it's hard to factor that in. Uh, your weight could, could be anywhere from a couple of pounds to five or six pounds just depends on what method you choose to use. That's everything I carry in my pack. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Hopefully you learned something. You don't have to take a whole lot of crap with you. Uh, one of the benefits of going into a saddle setup is you save weight and bulk. But if you throw a whole bunch of excess crap in your pack, well, you just canceled out all those weight and bulk savings. So try to stay minimalist. You don't need to take that much gear to the woods. Make sure you're safe uh, and make sure you have everything you need, but don't go crazy. Uh, try to be lighter and more efficient in your pack and you'll be a more efficient and more effective hunter. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my hunting and fishing content. I appreciate you guys checking it out. And remember to do something to go outside, hiking, biking, fishing, hammocking, camping, rock climbing. Just do something to get outdoors.